I also saw a movie that I was shocked how much I loved. What is this? No, tell us, please. <laughs> you guys are going to... I know our listeners are going to make fun of me, but uh, believe me, I thought this would be the most annoying movie ever. I think I might have seen this movie, too, so what is it? <laughs> it's The Guilt Trip. Oh, okay. I agree. I agree. Really? I thought the... Yeah, I did. I've had a lot of fun watching it. Is that on DVD it. now? It's on DVD Tuesday. Uh, yeah, uh, the 30th, next Tuesday. Okay, I'll, I'll put that on my Netflix show. Okay. I was completely charmed by it. And, and here, here's the Seth Rogen movie where he where he's not playing a, a, a pot smoker, like a doper. Uh, this this is the one you'll find in his resume. <laughs> but And I thought that he was very uh, charming in it and, and human. I thought the relationship between the two of them w- was wonderful and funny and truthful. Uh, and I was genuinely, you know, it's funny because I'm looking at it I'm saying, you know, this movie plays by all the rules. It's not, it doesn't really go outside the comfort zone of what you'd expect it to be. But I was so invested in him making a perfect presentation at the end of it. And then at the end, the the big kind of tearjerker scene, it, it really moved me. I, I, it worked yeah. me over. Wow, that's good. That's good to know. Yeah, I really I really dug it too for all those all those all those reasons. I thought that they both had extreme chemistry uh, together. It looked like you really got a sense, you know, if you stay past the credits, there's uh, scenes I guess that they cut out of them in the car, you know, riffing together, mm-hmm. and you really get a sense that they had fun together, sort of maybe. Maybe doing a little improv off of each other, which that's that's interesting to see Barbara Streisand doing that. Um, she was like her most relaxed that I've maybe I've ever seen her in a movie like in a long time at least. You yeah. know, it, it's very quick paced. Uh, um, I wouldn't say that it's like extra extra funny, but I do think that it's like a really really emotionally involving. Uh, thing. It does have some laughs, and it's just got like a nice breezy feel to it. It, it, it keeps on moving, and there's uh, it never gets boring or anything. And uh, and it's I thought I thought they were really good in it together. It was kind of it kind of at times reminded me of you know well first of all there's not many movies out there about mothers and sons you know uh, and not many and especially not many comedies so. Um, uh, they keep it clean or whatever, you know. Uh, you could, you, I guess, you could say spanking the monkey, but uh, but uh, but uh, it reminded me a little bit of Mother, the um, yeah, yeah, the Albert yeah. Brooks movie. But I thought it was actually better than that because I I I liked both of the characters. Mother tries to make you kind of hate that mother character, but this one kind of made you want to like her and everything. They don't stay too long on the convention part of it, you know. Well, that's good. So that's good. It was really good. I liked it. I was wow, surprised. we're in agreement.